The rain was coming out of the stadium, and Dory Funk Jr. and his wife, Marty Funk, were going into the ring to wrestle against. What can you say about Mula? Mula is probably, probably is the greatest woman wrestler of all time. She held the world heavyweight, uh, the women's world. Don't belt. say heavyweight, because she'd get upset well, at no, you. No, she'd get upset, but she held the world's. Probably, probably slapped both of us, too. Probably, yeah, probably beat both of us up, right? She held the world's title longer than anybody else in the history of professional wrestling on the female side. Okay. And, and then you got Carlos Colon, who's the universal heavyweight champion, was the world, WWC world champion, and probably one of the men that almost became the NWA champion right here in Puerto Rico one time. Yeah, he won three times, uh, three draws against the uh, NWA champion. And, and there is uh, Marty Funk. Oh, cowboy boot. Okay, look at the way Dory Funk, it's all over. Carlos Colon, and I must say to the fans that we're not aware of this situation, Carlos asked Mula to join him in this match because on the single competition matches that he had against Dory Funk, Dory's wife always interfered. And being that Carlos is a gentleman, he never raised his hand on her or anything, but she caused him serious injuries, and he said enough, enough is enough, and went and got Mula, and this is the match. Well, let's clarify something too, ladies and gentlemen. This match here is a bunkhouse match. Anything happens, wear your street clothes. It's a street fight, exactly. exactly what it is. And there you see Mula chasing Marty Funk around the ring. Dory Funk, her husband, has got Carlos Colon over there on that metal container and beating him up. And right there you see it, Dory Funk Jr. and his wife, Marty Funk. And where is Carlos Colon now? Well, Carlos was in trouble. He was hit hard by Dory. Meanwhile, Dory was insulting Mula. He, do you know that he wanted to hit Mula? You know, Dory will do that. Have you took a look at Mula? It looks like she's been hit by a lot of men. Well, one thing about her is uh, for many, many years representing the world professional wrestling and what a job this lady did. You could say whatever you want to say about Mula, but uh, she's a credit to professional wrestling. Well, isn't that, isn't that who your uh, wife won the title from, Wendy Richter? Yes, That's right. she That's did. And right there, Carlos Colon just grabbed Dory Funk Jr.'s other boot. Oh, right in the head with the heel of that boot. Now that'll bust you wide open, we go. And anybody out there that's been in a bar fight knows what boot cowboy boots will do to you. And the fans were loving it. And here comes Mula. Oh my goodness, and even Dory Funk's wife got a little bit of the piece of the boot on the head. Boy, it's raining out there at the stadium, and these people don't care because the action's hot and heavy in that ring, baby. Do you know that Puerto Rican fans and people from the Caribbean islands, when it comes to wrestling and it rains, they love it. They got the right name for them down here, fanaticos, because these people definitely are fanaticos about wrestling. Well, in English, you call them fans. And down in Spanish, you call them fanaticos. Well, I'll tell you something right now, you really can't make out what's going on. But I'll tell you, there's there's Dory Funk Jr. right there. I know his wife head back to the ring. I know somebody was getting beat up. Yeah, Carlos Colon was hitting somebody. Okay, this was the first official match of Dory's wife. And she went into the ring because the commissioner had ordered that if she did not do this, then there was no way that her husband could compete for their championship. See, to me, that's bad, see, I'll tell you. Forcing this man's wife in the ring, she's not even really a wrestler, you know? I mean, she's not a wrestler. Well, her she had, she wrestler. had trained with Dory many, many times, and she was looking for trouble in the matches where Carlos was in battle against Dory Funk. Yeah, there's a lot of fans I think, the matches looking for trouble, and you don't see them being thrown in the wrestling ring and told they had to let's, let Fans are fans, a wrestler is a wrestler, and if a wrestler's wife interferes in a match, now we're dealing with a direct situation here. Okay, now, Marty's running away from Mula. Uh, Junior's got Mula, finally got her. <laughs> Joy Funk Jr. finally got the old bride. <laughs> I don't think that's nice of you to say that. Well, got, got the older woman in the ring. <laughs> well, fabulous Mula in the hands of the Funks. Oh, Good move by Marty. Yeah. Oh, my goodness, they're going for it, and Marty getting the upper. Look out, here comes Dory. 
And he was going for Mula. Well, Carlos Colon got there off the quick, didn't he, Ulus Minovic? Okay. Street fight. Everything goes. Dory Funk Jr. is barefooted. They've taken his cowboy boots. To his disadvantage. Well, I'll tell you something. You know, everybody's used those cowboy boots, but the guy that wore them in the ring. That's right. He made a mistake on that. Well, I'll tell you something. Right now. Well, here goes. Here goes Carlos. Carlos Colon's got Dory Funk Jr. to side headlock. Now, you think it wouldn't be Carlos Colon? Below Carlos Colon to go over and hit Marty Funk. What a matchup we're watching here. Bobby, this Dory Funk, four times NWA World Champion. I should have said he was NWA oh, yeah, Champion for four and a half years. Oh. oh, she slapped his face. A good, good one. Whoa, three in a row. And oh, here comes brother. Carlos. Oh. I wonder why Dory Funk Jr. wanted to hit her. Boy, the fans are in ecstasy here. Almost getting the referee there. Dory Funk Jr.'s eye, it looks like it's busted open, doesn't it? Hello? Yeah. I'll tell you something right now. You can't get any better than the classics of World, Council, World Wrestling Council Championship action, brother, than they are right here on an EG production game. And not only that, but to the fans of Fellow Wrestling today, and some of these matches, you could catch your superstars in the battles that made them what they are today. That's right, that's right. As most of these men, you're, men and ladies you're seeing right here today are still in professional wrestling and still battling night after night, town after town, opponent after opponent. But that's the great thing about professional some wrestling. Some of these matches were the matches that made them superstars. That's right. A little later on, you're gonna see Randy Macho Man Savage in a, a match to help make him a superstar. The World Wrestling Council, the home of many stars. Uh oh, Marty's swinging. Oh, she's hitting him again. By the way, Moolah's hitting Funk. And the way Carlos. Oh, no, I, don't, I'm telling you, I, just, I don't think Dory never saw that punch coming. No, I don't think so. A headbutt, and Dory goes down to Man for Amarillo, Texas. Here it comes. Oh, did you see the takedown on the part of Marty? But oh, here comes oh, Mula. Mula's got her now. This looks like OK Corral here. Boy, Mula's got her now. Mula all over. Oh, oh, oh my Bunk goodness. Got Mula. Oh. oh! Boy, I... I tell you, that could injure that woman. I don't think uh, Doria would love to see this. Oh, boy. Look at that. They got Carlos Colon. Yeah, now Junior's beating up Carlos Colon. This is this is getting good now. Carlos and his wife. Carlos and his wife beating up on. I, I'm sorry, I'm all confused. Dory, Dory and his wife. wife. Oh, look at Bula pulling her hair out. Look at that. Uh oh. Boy, I'm loving this. Bobby, oh, I'm boy. loving this. I tell you, this is great, isn't it? This is a classic. Boy, and there, there goes Bula. She just hit Dory Funk Jr. and she's got a foreign object. Boy, this Mula is something I'm else. You, there's a lot of excitement going on. Look at the people all standing, yelling, screaming, hollering. Look, she's ripping her clothes off. Hello. Oh, my goodness. She's ripping her clothes off. The fans are loving every bit of this classic matchup. Boy, Dory Fun going at it with Carlos. And if Dory doesn't stop Mula, there won't be nothing Boy, he slapped What a her. slap. You see that? Uh-oh. Oh, boy, I think he knocked her out. Look, oh, she almost ripped, his ripped her clothes off of her. Dory Funk coming to the rescue. What a double drop kick by Mulan Carlos. Incredible maneuver. Oh, well, and, and Dory oh, Funk got his wife. One, got him. two, three. That's it. It's over. Carlos right. Colon and Mula win. Eddie Grimes, you were right, my man. Fast Eddie Days is. Classics of the World Wrestling Council, the battles that made today superstars what they are. I'm talking about great action. Carlos Colon and the fabulous Mula winning over Dory and his wife in a tremendous battle that's coming out of the ring. Look at that. Look at her. She just jumped on Carlos's back.
Boy, she's, she's like an old wildcat. But she's a tough lady. I'm telling you. Well, I'm telling you, Dory must behave because if not, he probably gets beat up when he comes home. Boy, I'm telling you, boy, look, look at the, the fans are just going crazy. Okay, fans, we are going to cut away from this great tag team matchup. The winners, Congolos and Fabulous Moolah. Let's take it all to our next coming event. <laughs>